Hi everyone, yet another tent purchase, the Berghouse Peak 3.3 Pro, which I'm hoping to use as a wee base cam tent for myself and my wife. I've tried a couple of things recently and kind of liked them but not necessarily loved them. And uh, this came up on the internet under a cheap sale with an extra discount, so I think they're about £290 or so, and uh, picked it up for £152. Um, we kind of missed having this cooking end and sleeping end separately. Uh, we used to have the Fiala having a Bisco, which was a great tent, and sold it. Maybe a good idea, maybe a bad idea, I don't know. But anyway, this is very similar, but at a very cheap price. Not quite the same quality, but it should do 90% of what the Fiala oven does, and we can give it a go. I've also ordered a Rab Latok base tent, which is a bit more of an expensive exotic beastie, but that's coming from Canada and will take a wee while, so we'll give this a shot in the interim. I'll show you inside in just a just a second. So really what I'm trying to do in here actually is just check that the thing is waterproof. Believe it or not, I bought a North Face Assault 3, which is designed for expedition and polar use, thinking that might do as a base tent, but the damn thing leaked as soon as it got uh, more than just drizzle, which to be honest, I can see why North Face didn't mention anything about a hydrostatic head. So I've learned the hard way, however that's now gone to hopefully somebody who can use it in snow conditions and I bought this instead which is a 5000 hydrostatic head and seems to be so far so good. Um, the one thing I don't, I'm not, I'm not keen on actually is the inner tent which is a really dark colour um, and that's kind of unusual, um, maybe a wee bit claustrophobic. We'll see how it looks, I'm just going to climb inside the inner now and check it out. I don't know if I'm being a wee bit unfair, but it's kind of unusual because it's not white or yellow, like Hilleberg or Terra Nova. It's a kind of light, is it light? A kind of darkish green, although the mesh is quite thin. So you can see how the light transfers through from the fly sheet, which is a kind of very bright lime green. It's a good width. Head height is not brilliant. I think it's about 100 internally. It's okay. Um, probably would sleep three of us, but it's only for two, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, there's no rear venting in the inner, which means it will be warmer than the Fial Raven for winter use in it as class as a four season tent, supposedly. That's the usual elasticated connectors, which I had to attach the inner to this morning because it comes unassembled and some fairly chunky zip pulls on it. I think taken from Bear Cowes' rucksacks by the look of it. And the alloy poles are not particularly, they're not DAC quality, certainly. T6 alloy, I think, so I kind of mid-market pole I guess, but it has all the normal features. And lying inside looking out to the vestibule area, again tons of room for storage and cooking. I like the clear window, that's a nice feature. I haven't had that in a tent for quite a while. And a wee hanging loop there for torch or whatever is in there. It's missing a hanging line inside here unfortunately. Uh, for drying clothes or whatever, so I may try and rig something up. There is a wee lantern type hook which I could probably exploit and run a guy line to the front. It has two pockets on either side, compartmentalised, they're fine. The door's quite good in the fact that it uh, tucks into a pocket, I don't know if you can see that in this light here, it tucks into a pocket on the right hand side, which is better than the Fial Raven because it had a door that fell to the floor and get trodden on, it can ruin the nylon and it can uh, get very muddy. And our door shut. It's not fully mesh, so again it will be warmer and maybe in the summer might be a wee bit, um, just a bit, a bit hot inside I think. You can half vent it as you can see here. That looks like it's fully open on the camera but it's actually uh, midgy mesh. The usual mosquito net, so it'll keep the bugs out which is great. Um, just not sure about the colour, I don't know what other folk think, I'd be interested to get your comments here. Admittedly it's a very wet, dreech Scottish day. And I would say the um, vestibule looks nice and airy because of the lime colour. The inner tent's quite dark. I'd imagine in winter it gets very cave-like in here. The other thing I've noticed about the tent is the inner is quite short. So I'm five foot eight and with my head against the um, top of the tent here, I don't know if I can do it. I'll try and lay down here. Like that's the, my head against the top of the tent there. And my feet are... Probably a foot from the end of the um, inner, but because your feet sit up and on top of a sleeping mat, 
his toes are probably going to be rubbing the inner, so there's a chance the outer, which you can see the fly, the gap there is about six inches. It might end up meaning that the um, you end up with your feet touching the fly sheet and transfer moisture through to your sleeping bag. I know that's been a problem with Hilleberg. Is it Nalos? Nalos as well. Um, so we'll see how we get on with this. It has a rear vent with a wee stiffened prop to help the airflow, although it's fairly minuscule in comparison to a lot of them. So again, condensation may be an issue. And I guess we'll not know till we actually try this. A couple of extra guys at the back to, I think just to try and make the thing more wind stable and stop the back of it collapsing. There's actually quite a lot of guys all the way around. Again, I think probably possibly because of the poles. You can see them here. They're a wee bit uh, thin. I'm not sure what they are, probably about eight mil. The pegs, fairly low rent, middle of the road stuff, but perfectly functional. Fly sheets are looking nylon, sagging a wee bit now in the rain, so I'll tighten it up, make it look a bit tidier. Uh, the pole sleeves are colour coded, which is useful at night and reflective guys. So, usual standard fare, but £150 looks to me like a nice wee bargain. Give me some impression of the room in there. Main entrance door can be zipped from the bottom or the top, so again, handy if you're cooking inside or if you're trying to climb out the tent in snow, makes it a wee bit easier to climb out the top of the door rather than pull the door up from the bottom. So there you go, Berghaus Peak 3.3 Pro, first walk around, we'll get it out in the wilds, give it a wee test and I'll report back with another video. Uh, 2.96 kilos, so bearable for two, I allegedly can sleep three, I'd think it's a wee bit cosy for that, to be fair. But um, at the price, 150 from Blacks or Millets at the moment, as of uh, September 2016, it might be worth a wee punt for yourself. Thanks again for watching, folks.